Now, our next guest. I keep expecting Willie Jackson's going to walk in here any minute. Now, if, if, you, if you haven't met John before, you would have heard him on the, on the radio talkback show with Mr Jackson. But John Tamahere is of Ngāti Parau and Whakatohia and Tainui descent. He gained an arts and law degree from Auckland University and served as a cabinet minister in the Labour government from 2002 to 2004. John is currently the chief executive of Waipareta Trust and, of course, hosts a talkback show on Radio Live. Kia ora, Mr Tamahere. Thank you very much, Kia ora, everybody. I'll, I'll try and be um, reasonably quick. Uh, the, um, topic is focusing on employment. I didn't write that, so I won't be talking on it. But uh, what, I what I will be talking on about is um, everything is about uh, outcomes for us. And so um, I wrote my auntie's speech, if you, just, if you did hear it. <laughs> Dame, uh, yeah, Edith yeah, Fifurang, you know. And, um, but, but we're on the same wavelength, it's ESP. And so I'm grateful that you did the setup. Um, I, I'm somewhat intrigued as to why I got sort of stuck between two bureaucrats. But, I, but, having, said, but having said that, you know, uh, and some guys have all the luck. So, so what I wanted to say is uh, just uh, um, to get into a couple of fundamentals. You, you can scroll this for me, can't you? I've got an um, audio visual for those of you that are more visual. But what it is is it just uh, endeavours to step through um, a uh, systemic approach to uh, a whānau order concept, because a lot of people get quite befuddled by that terminology and that. Um, and so, so we'll, we'll just work through that. A couple of fundamentals that I wanted to say here um, this uh, afternoon, though, is that we no longer buy into uh, private, private versus public. We no longer buy into left versus right. No longer buy into what the Employers Association says or the union says. Right? Those are uh, uh, arguments and discussions and debates which have um, ensured that we don't concentrate on what we must concentrate on, which is lifting our people from all the negative indicators that you know we suffer from. And so uh, wasting our time in, in that is uh, problematic. What Fano Order does for us is you could, it's pointless having um, employment uh, connectivity and all the rest of it if you know that your people are going to be first fired and last hired because of a poor skill set and a whole bunch of poor education track and a whole range of other things. And so what we have to concentrate on is what system will allow our people to engage in opportunities that others take for granted. Okay, and this is simple, it's quite a simple thing, but it's very difficult. The process that we've embarked on, uh, we don't any longer require Ministry of Social Development to sign off. We have 79 contracts across nine different government organisations. The compliance costs alone are big. The, uh, uh, they're two years uh, maximum in terms of rollovers, and so because uh, you can't trust the natives around the till. So the so the point is the point is that we, we have a few we have a few problems, uh, Houston. So you know the uh, so the, so we're we're working through that right now and we'll grunt through it. Um, basically, uh, let's get to some outcomes. Uh, within five years in our area, uh, by October, there won't be a Waitakere city. It'll be West Auckland. Looking at the new operations manager over here for um, the new super city. Uh, congratulations, Patricia, on that. Um, and I did want to acknowledge the old Aussie here because they run some outstanding angles. But I've just come from a benchmarking uh, visit over there, as we must, and you can't compare um, apples with uh, lemons, which is what we are, actually. <laughs> um, uh, after a number of benchmarking, they've got federal funding, they've got state funding, uh, they've uh, embarked in 1992 on compulsory super, they have uh, Medicare uh, insurance as well. And so uh, what we've got to do is just peel off uh, or understand our, our relativities uh, with them. Uh, but they do some outstanding stuff, there's no doubt about that. Uh, so I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Manuhiri for coming over and making that contribution. Now, um, basically for, for us, so what, 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 I'll start with our outcomes first. Within five years, within five years, if you were to come to West Auckland, the Māori population there at the moment is 22,000. All right? Makes up 68% of some horrendous numbers uh, and, and the like. What you would like to see out of something that works is that you drop your criminality rates uh, as your youth population starts to, uh, its demographic starts to climb. That will occur. Secondly, we will lift numeracy literacy rates and therefore education outcomes in our community in the next five years. Uh, the percentage rates, I'm willing to negotiate with anyone, but they will be quite considerable. Thirdly, any, uh, of any district, uh, dependent on how the reconfiguration uh, of DHBs goes, in any district, the West Auckland Māori community will start to present 
uh, with some of the best outcomes. Uh, now, it, it's, it, I can say, oh, in terms of connectivity to the internet, we'll have the highest proportion of geared up Māori families available to do that. Now, how can you say that will occur in five years? Well, you've got to, and you've got to actually set those uh, key performance indicators in. What that will mean is, is that when, when uh, the economics go up and down, as they must, because it's cyclical, uh, we no longer uh, fight with the Pacific Islanders over who will be worst employed, right? Because it's just a dumb game. It's a dumb netting game. So what we've got to do is position our people and our Pacific Island brothers and sisters uh, uh, for that opportunity. Give you a couple of numbers. Uh, we have 49,000 enrolled patients in our public health organisation. Uh, we have half the Māori population in the West Auckland region enrolled with us. Uh, 39,000 obviously non-Māori, but uh, they come from the same social and economic difficulties. So they're, they're uh, high needs, low access peoples. Uh, their outcomes through our PHO have lifted considerably from immunisation rates all the way through. So what we know is, uh, after eight years of evidence, what we know is that we can lift by our own uh, um, style of doing things with it in clinics that are driven off the same values, uh, we can lift uh, quite significantly some outcomes. We can do things differently too, where we send our, our health nurses in to do screens in, uh, and we did, uh, our PHO is a joint venture with the Engineers Union and with the Service and Workers Union. Okay, and they've come with some innovations in terms of how we get access to a lot of our uh, men, particularly in the manufacturing industry. And so that's worked extraordinarily well for us. A lot of issues in New Zealand are confused where race collides with socio-economic deprivation. And so a lot of, um, a lot of Westies uh, are Pākehā Westies who are struggling just as much as anybody else and require the same level of assistance that Whānau Order will uh, present for them and to them and for their children.